Overtime Elite is a professional basketball league for 16 to 20 year olds based in Atlanta, Georgia. The league is owned and operated by Overtime and was founded by Dan Porter and Zach Weiner. Overtime launched the Overtime Elite Professional Basketball League in 2021 for American and international basketball players between the ages of 16 and 20. Players receive a minimum salary of $100,000 annually, a signing bonus, and shares in Overtime's larger business. Players can also choose a scholarship option and maintain college eligibility. According to the New York Times, Overtime provides health and disability insurance and sets aside $100,000 in college scholarship money for each player if they decide not to pursue professional basketball afterwards. Athletes participate in an academic program featuring a 4 to 1 student-teacher ratio and a curriculum offering traditional high school subjects alongside life skill-related subjects in financial literacy, social media, and other media training, and mental health and wellness. In April 2021, Overtime Elite hired former NBA player and University of Connecticut head coach Kevin Ollie as its first head coach and head of player development. In May that year, the company announced the signings of Matt and Ryan Bewley, the first prep underclassmen to sign contracts with an American professional basketball league. The league also signed Dominican guard Gene Montero in June as its first international player and 16-year-old Jalen Lewis, the youngest American professional basketball player in history, in July. In September, Overtime Elite announced an exclusive partnership with Tops to create basketball trading cards on Overtime Elite athletes. In October, the company announced Gatorade and State Farm as brand partners. In January 2022, Overtime Elite announced a partnership with Meta to develop virtual reality content for the league. In April 2022, they announced the signing of Nasir Cunningham, the number one basketball prospect in ESPN's Class of 2024. Cunningham became the first overtime elite player to forego being paid a salary, preserving college basketball eligibility after graduating from high school. In July that year, Pau Gasol joined Carmelo Anthony and Jay Williams on the overtime elite board of directors. In September, Damian Wilkins was named general manager and head of basketball. In October, overtime elite announced a partnership with GMC. In November, Overtime Elite and Amazon Prime Video agreed to a multi-year global distribution partnership to stream 20 live Overtime Elite games per season for the league's next three seasons alongside the launch of a series on Overtime Elite in 2023. Overtime Elite built a 103,000-square-foot facility in the Atlantic Station section of Atlanta, where players train, study, and compete. The building has three NBA regulation-sized courts that can seat up to 1,300 spectators. The building also has a 7,000-square-foot fitness center, a hydrotherapy room, classroom spaces, a dining hall, and locker rooms. In June and July 2022, the Professional Fighters League held three regular season events at Overtime Elite Arena. Overtime Elite's inaugural season consisted of three teams, Team Elite, Team OTE, and Team Overtime playing against each other and against prep schools and high schools. In May 2021, Overtime Elite announced the signing of Amen and Ouser Thompson, top-ranked guards in the 2022 class, and Matt and Ryan Bewley, top-ranked power forward prospects in the 2023 class. In the league's first season, Team Elite defeated Team OTE 52-45 in Game 3 of the Overtime Elite Finals to become the first league champion. Ouser Thompson was named MVP of the Finals. Thank you. Come again.